All right, let's do this thing. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, fellow entrepreneurs. One way that you can block customers from using your store if you're having an issue with a customer that you know is going to have a chargeback, issue a chargeback, is a fraudulent customer, is a fraudulent bot, or is just going to buy a product from you, send it back, give you a bad review, and you have a bad history with a certain customer. One thing you can do is you can use the Shopify Fraud Filter app. I run a Shopify store. In fact, I run multiple Shopify stores, and I've been doing it for a while now. And as you know, because you're watching this video, you have a Shopify store as well. One thing we have to protect ourselves against is fraudulent customers, fraudulent activities, fraudulent orders, as well as do everything we can to prevent chargebacks. If you don't know what chargebacks are, I did a whole video explaining what chargebacks are, how to protect yourself against them, how to prevent them, and how to go about them when you receive a chargeback. And you can check out my channel for that video, as there are multiple layers of protection that you can put into place to prevent against fraudulent activity or fraudulent orders and chargebacks of all kinds. But one thing that is easy and simple and free to use is the Shopify fraud filter app. Kind of looks like this. This is kind of what it looks like inside the app, where if you set up specific specific parameters, maybe an email, a certain customer's email address, a certain email address that you know is spam because it has a fraudulent looking email, a specific customer that keeps ordering from your store that you have a bad relationship with and you don't want them to purchase from you, you can set their email here. And what this does is it just adds another layer of protection. As we know, we can't completely block all fraudulent activity, completely block all chargebacks from ever happening, but we can put in place a multi-layered approach to protect ourselves from this. So this is the app, it's called the Fraud Filter app. I've been using this for a while because there's really no downside to using it. It does add a layer of protection and, and there's nothing you can do that can prevent these things 100% on your public website. But this app does a pretty decent job. It's made and developed by Shopify. If you want to learn the difference between a made and developed by Shopify app, as opposed to a third party app when you're browsing the app store. You can click this video here on my channel. I did a whole video about what you can expect if you're downloading a Shopify developed app compared to a third party app and how you can go about choosing the best one. But because this fraud filter app is a Shopify made and developed app, it is free. It doesn't have a paid or multi-tiered paid plan. So you don't have to ever worry about increasing expenses with something like this. And if you ever have any problems with the app, you can just go directly to Shopify instead of dealing with any third party business. So let me show you a little bit quickly of how this works. If we start in the app store, we can search for fraud filter. Once the results load, you'll get a bunch of apps, mostly third party apps talking about filters, fraud protection, chargeback protection. And then right in the corner here, you'll see fraud filter with this yellow icon. This is the Shopify made and developed app. One thing that I will point out when you're dealing with fraud, fraud filters, chargeback protections, and this sort of security is when you're searching for an app about this kind of topic, I'll notice on the page, there's not one app that has the built for Shopify logo. If you don't know what the built for Shopify logo is, you can click this video here. It's a brand new feature that was released this past summer that basically shows you the very best of the best, the very cream of the crop app in a specific subject that can help you quickly locate and identify the best app to solve your problem. If you wanna learn all about that, I highly suggest looking at that quick little video I made. But I find in my personal experience, this app does add a layer of protection that is helpful because essentially all it does is you can create custom filters like specific customer details. And then once those filters are flagged, you'll be notified of a suspicious order and you can then take action from there. You can cancel the order, you can email the customer. One thing that I learned, you have to do with this is that if you create custom filters to notify you of a suspicious order that you don't want to fulfill, the customer doesn't know that it won't be fulfilled. I have found in my experience that there's two scenarios I can go through. One is that the customer, you know, receives their order and it goes through okay, and they don't know until you contact them or they fill out their order and it gets declined for an error reason, which they will contact you about or they'll contact their bank about and then the bank will tell them um, it has something to do maybe with the merchant and then they'll contact you. So if you're using this fraud filter app, you should anticipate those conversations because if you cancel a person's order and they don't know why and there's no communication on your end that could lead to a bad review and that will hurt our social proof. So one little tip if you're going to use this fraud filter is maybe just make up a email that you can send in case you need to cancel an order because a fraud filter was placed. I find when it comes to these things that communication with the customers is the easiest way to go about these things and having a set email in place that you've created for the situation can help a lot in terms of time management as well. So if you use Shopify, you'll be familiar with this screen, the fraud analyst built-in app uh, that runs on your Shopify store. This analyzes orders for potentially fraudulent activity and it notifies you if there is a risk to the order 
by ranking it from low to medium to high. It's always a good idea if you have an order to pay attention to this because it might be exciting that it, you do get a sale or your first sale if you're new starting, if you're starting out, but if it has a very high chance of being fraudulent and the fraudulent analysis is high, you might wanna cancel that order, not fulfill that order because if you fulfill it and it's fraudulent, that can open up a chargeback, it can open up negative reviews, it can open up all kinds of things that is mainly just to take money out of your pocket. And if you're starting out, if you have lower expenses, you need to keep an eye on these things because when you're just starting out, it really is just about surviving really for like a year. So when you're using the fraud filter app and you install it, you'll notice a second, almost identical looking fraud analysis tool. This one says fraud filter. And what's interesting is that this one is based on the fraud analysis built into your Shopify store. And the fraud filter is based on the parameters and the filters that you set up within the app. So it is common to see a dis discrepancy between these two analysis. So the question is what happens when the fraud analysis is showing a low, that is not a fraudulent order, and the fraud filter app is showing high. This is why this is a good multi-tier approach because using the fraud analysis by Shopify can scan your orders for a bunch of fraudulent activity that you don't have to worry about. And then using the fraud filter is more manually filtering for customers that you don't want on your store. It's flagging if a customer that you've experienced and you don't want shopping on your store ever again has come back. If it recognizes a email address, for example, that you put in because the person has an extremely high return rate or someone has give you very poor reviews consistently. You know, when you're running business, you're gonna run into these customers and you just have to have a strategy in place to deal with them. So this is just a quick perspective video that I thought I would make because when you're running business and you've been running business for quite a long time, multiple businesses, uh, like I have, you need to get used to how to deal with customers, how to deal with chargebacks, filtering and protecting your store from customers that mean you harm. So the fraud filter is good um, by adding security to your store for all these reasons. Again, it's a free Shopify made app and there's really no downside to having it. But again, keeping in mind that you can never protect all fraudulent activity, all fraud, all spam, all bots, but you can have a multi-tier approach of protection on your store. And that's how Fraud Filter comes into place. It's just a question I was wondering before I knew this back in the day, and I'm sure a bunch of you starting out entrepreneurs that are wondering the same thing have learned something from this video. If this has helped in any way, leave a like so I know. I just like helping fellow entrepreneurs on this channel. I just want to grow a community of like-minded entrepreneurs so we can all help each other out with our personal experiences because entrepreneurship and e-commerce is, is definitely one where the saying, oh, if I can go back a year with what I know now or two years with what I know now is, is very, very true, especially in e-commerce. So, you know, if you subscribe to the channel and you learn from someone like me who's been in the, the business and the industry for a while, hopefully that can speed up your learning curve and you can learn some tips and tricks along the way to get you to achieve your dreams. That's all for now. So consider subscribing for more expert Shopify e-commerce tutorials. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.